So when we talk about computing, we usually think of it being digital computing because we think of the amazing things that we've been able to do with digital structures because digital structures are programmable, they're configurable, and as a result, we can also build them in modular structures. There's a lot of really good high, the high, high structure theory. So many good things. And so when we think of computing, we usually think of digital being our computing structures. In fact, typically we think about, you know, a laptop or a, a tablet or a phone or thinking about a desktop machine or maybe a whole server. But these are the things we assume that digital does because it's, con it's configurable, it's modular. I can have the people who are writing code at a high level, such as you open up, maybe you yourself, as you open up your laptop and you start write code and everything just you know, you can just kind of work with everything else underneath it from the IC design to the design of the computer completely abstracted away from you. So you think, all right, this is great. And you say, okay, analog, we don't really think about this as computing. Maybe we could do that. We certainly hear rumors of things that maybe in the 1960s there was analog computing. Reality is a little more than that, but that's a relative perception you'll see. Um, when you think of analog, you're going to think of, I'm going to have to like pull out my soldering iron, I'm going to have to put components on a PC board, you know, and I have to do all sorts of things of the structure. That I'm, and then I have to, it's a fixed function structure, it's custom design. There's some beautiful artists who put all this together, who run some beautiful magic. And then when it's, and then if I need to do it again, I got to get those people in again. And you think, wow, that's a lot of work. So, of course, we don't want to do that. And of course, all of this is clearly far superior to all of this, right? Even though this is a necessary evil that continues to be important, you know, decades and decades after, it seems like all the VLSI revolution, like button, starting about 1980, pretty much took care of this problem, right? So, end of story. Except that we do find that the digital structures may not give us everything we're hoping for, and there may be some other parts of the story. Further, the analog question may be a little different than this. And so, kind of pushing back on the perspective, you see something so somewhat different here. So what could be different? Well, one of the things that, you know, will be, at least personally, I will be talking a bit about, is these discussions of what are a large-scale field programmable analog array. Things that look like FPGAs, but are are analog and mixed signal configurable. And already this kind of gets people in a very strange place. You're like, why well, okay, maybe I have a little bit of analog, so but I but it's programmable? Okay, what does that mean? And maybe that allows me to do some simple analog functions, but I'm actually talking about computing here. And I'm talking about actually a chip where the whole thing is a system on chip. And this is one of many chips. This was uh, the first uh, the first of these chips was um, most of the design was done in 2014, 2000, 2015 in terms of actually published or published in 2016. And you begin to see some really interesting possibilities with the structure. Now you can certainly see that there's a microprocessor, there's RAM, there's a whole fabric. But you have analog and digital all coexisting on the same chip. It is programmable, it's configurable. The computing is being done in the analog space potentially. And actually, often, if you can, it turns out because of energy efficiency and space efficiency reasons, is exactly what you want to do. On top of it, there are design tools that you can actually start to talk about what does design look like in sort of an analog or mixed signal environment. And so it begins to open up the question of, well, maybe there's something else here. So let's start thinking about what would we possibly get, and let's kind of dig into these questions a little bit further.